good morning students uh, today i am going to explain about model 1 introduction part okay the model 1 is the data communication so then what is the definition of data communication the data communication is nothing but the exchanging the information between two devices okay that we call it as a data communication the one thing is uh, the exchanging the two information between the uh, between the devices okay it is not possible as it is okay we require some interface or it required some medium okay that we call it as a transmission medium okay. so with the help of transmission medium we can send the data and and we can also receive the data at the end so this is what the basic of uh, the basic information about the data communication then the data communication we are discussed in this uh, the chapter uh, two things that is components of the data communication as well as data flow yes because the data communication okay the words say how the data is going to exchanging between one to one okay with the help of some transmission medium okay that we have to yes that that uh, that process uh, like that that process it is going to be started okay with the help of some components okay that uh, like that we are going to see what is the components we supposed to use in data communication then before that i am going to tell us about the data communication characteristics that is very important about this okay what are the characteristics it's having the data communication from one to one okay see it have the four characteristics okay and this the one is delivery second one is accuracy and time third one fourth one is jitter then what is the delivery here the delivery is telling the whether the the, the, the given the data it is going to uh, like um, transfer or it is going to deliver the particular destination okay that we the, the, that we say it as a delivery okay the second one is accuracy yes like whatever the given okay the whatever the are given or have we are having the user okay that particular information okay that should be is the correct format data or that should be is the uh, original data or or it is a fake data okay that it is going to tell us about the accuracy okay that the given data okay that is going to reach the that appropriate place is accurately with the uh, with the accurate data format that we call it as a accuracy then third one is timelines that time yes we have to make the transaction we need the time based on the time only okay the every job or every task is going to be die every every task is going to be completed so that the you know, time is also one of the characteristics of in our data communication then fourth one jitter the jitter okay it is it is going to work as the one of the compiler or it is one of the uh, like one of the monitor means uh, like uh, the jitter okay how it is going to refer this uh, data communication means uh, like it is going to checking whether the given or whether the uh, like whether the data okay or whether the information it is going to reaches okay uh, in the appropriate of uh, appropriate time or if if that uh, if that data or if that information having any little bit variations or or it may be any major variations while sending and receiving in in via transmission medium okay that everything is going to take care of the jitter okay these all the like these all are the characteristics of our data communication the next one is uh, components yes the components of data communication it basically it have the five components okay it should be included for making the card like data communication from one to one then what are the five components the first one is sender the second one is receiver and third one is message fourth one is transmission medium and fifth one is protocol so let me discuss one by one what is this the first one what is the sender the sender is nothing but user or it may be a device or it may be a host okay the whatever the uh, sender or about whatever the receiver it is going to send the message to destination okay that we can call it as a sender the sender part is just it is going to transfer the information from one end to another end 
that we call it as a center the next one is receiver the receiver is nothing but the destination yes the destination means like whatever the sender it is going to send the information or data or whatever uh, the, like uh, signals okay that is going to receive okay that is going to receive from the sender that is the job of our receiver okay then message yes here message it can be a information or it should be a value yeah valuable information or valuable content okay that that we call it as a message then fourth one is transmission medium yes we have to communicate one to one we require the one of the interface or we require one of the the like uh, transmission here transmission media it is here acting as a one of the interface device okay see this transmission medium okay it is going to shows the physical path between the sender and receiver okay that we call it as a transmission medium okay through that uh, through this medium only we can sending and receiving okay everything it is going to transaction happens in this transition medium then the last one is protocol the protocol is nothing but okay it is going to tell the rules and regulations okay that is govern the data communication yes it is going to contain the rules and uh, regulation means uh, like this is the rules the each and the sender and receiver they have to follow the rules means only the limited number of rules and regulation okay that is govern the data communication okay the sender yes the sender part is only it is going to sending the uh, task or sending the data to receiver so this is one of the rules for the sender then receiver yes it is going to receive the data from the sender so this is what the rules okay they have protocol making in the receiver like that each and every okay devices or every components i mean the each and uh, each and uh, every rules okay the based on rules only it is going to making the transaction so this we call it as a five components about the data communication then before that i am going to tell one of the things here that is the data representation this is the very important the data communication is the data representation okay and not only the information and message okay and so on so okay we can the data representation it can be uh, it can be anything okay means it should be information or it should be a message or it should be a data or 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 it should be a value number signals image uh, then uh, okay then what is that uh, the image it contain it contain uh, it may be a the jpg image or it may gif image anything okay the anything okay it should be the message or it should be the information okay that we call it as a data representation okay so in in the all the, of all this form we can consider we, we, we can going to represent the data okay from sender to receiver so this is one of the biggest uh, the biggest characters uh, characteristics okay we can call it as this is the one of the biggest characteristics of our communication or uh, so okay the next one is so this is what i told the components about this message sender and receiver okay what is this okay the next one is data flow yes the data flow it is nothing but it can tell the uh, like uh, that the data flow okay it can tell the direction about the uh, direction about the data yes then what is the direction here yeah. then yeah uh, like it means uh, like where the data it is going to pass or where the data it, it is going to and which direction is supposed to uh, reach the um, data to where it is going to reach the data and whom whom is going to send the data everything okay that we call it as a path okay the direction of the data it tells about the path of the data okay then the data flow it contains three things so the one is the one is simplex method and second one is half duplex method and third one is full duplex method okay then what is the simplex method the simplex method here the two devices it is going to making the transaction okay that is only one direction means uh, like it is going to send the data only one direction okay the another device it is going to receive the that particular data so this is what the simplex method but 
come to this half duplex method so here it is going to uh, like the transaction happens two ways the one is 